Folks, I keep trying to tell you all that there is something weird going on on the International Space Station. And now the situation just got worse. NASA just a couple of hours ago, NASA just admitted that they knew there was a leak on their Starliner Boeing spacecraft. They knew there was a leak. Yet they went ahead and blasted these astronauts into outer space anyway, knowing that the shuttle was leaking. Now that's obviously dangerous and crazy and insane. I don't even have to explain why. I think we all kind of get it, right? But my question is, what's the urgency? I don't think space is going anywhere, right? Was it that urgent that you just had to send these astronauts into outer space with a leaking shuttle? A shuttle that you weren't even sure would make it to the International Space Station, let alone make it back home. Now, as I've reported to you all, there's some type of super bug that they're experimenting on up there in outer space right now as we speak. A super bug that is immune to a lot of modern medication and antibiotics. Yes, they're basically experimenting on deadly, dangerous illnesses and stuff on the International Space Station. You would think they would be there monitoring space, doing space-like things. But no, they're like the Wuhan wet market. If you catch my drift, there's a lot of weird stuff going on up there. And now we have a couple of astronauts that are stuck on the International Space Station that were supposed to be back home a couple of weeks ago. And now we don't know if they're going to be able to make it back. We don't think their ship is going to be able to make it back. Some people are saying it's going to be okay, but I think that they're wrong. I think at the very least, they have no idea if it's going to be okay or not, but they're trying to defend the company that is making these spacecraft, right? It's a complicated situation, and a lot of the experts you see there in the... Po How can I put it? A lot of the experts have money invested in certain places or they have projects funded by certain organizations so they can't really tell you the truth about what's happening. So we got two astronauts trapped on the International Space Station and it looks like their best bet at getting back home will be Elon Musk. Elon Musk is going to have to send one of his rockets up into outer space to basically come get these people. And <laughs> I'm aware, listen, folks, I am well aware of how crazy all of this sounds. There's super bugs in outer space and they're experimenting on it. And there's astronauts trapped. I know it sounds like something from freaking Star Trek or something. It sounds like a sci-fi movie, but I assure you folks, this is real. You can do your research and you can see for yourself that all of this is happening. But for right now, I wanna dive into this article and let's find out a little bit more about this leak and why NASA just chose to launch these people into outer space anyways. NASA knew Boeing Starliner had leak before launch but believed it too small to pose a threat, leaving astronauts stuck on the International Space Station. NASA and Boeing managers knew their Starliner rocket had a leak before launch, but believed it was too small to pose a threat as two astronauts now remain stuck at the International Space Station over the issue. Officials found a helium leak on the troubled Starliner before its launch on June 5th, but NASA and Boeing leaders said the rocket was good to go because the issue was supposedly too small to pose a safety threat for the spacecraft. The rocket's launch date had already been delayed due to another leak. Then, once in orbit, 
four more helium leaks developed with one thruster officially deemed unusable. The return trip for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams has now been delayed until at least June 2nd. Boeing has borne the brunt of the criticism over Starliner's current situation. The company is already under fire after high-profile malfunctions of its airplanes over the past year, with at least 20 whistleblowers coming forward to voice safety concerns and quality issues at the aerospace giant. Wilmore and Williams were supposed to come back home June 13th, after just a week on the ISS. But their return date now remains up in the air as engineers continue to analyze and test the helium leaks and thruster failures on the Starliner. We are taking our time and following our standard mission management team process, Steve Stitch, manager of NASA's commercial crew program said in a statement, we are letting the data drive our decision-making relative to managing the small helium system leaks and thruster performance we observed during rendezvous and docking, he added. Stitch claimed that despite the issues, NASA still has confidence in Starliner, claiming the spacecraft is performing well in orbit while docked to the space station. NASA officials rejected the notion that Wilmore and Williams were stuck on the ISS, claiming the duo is still cleared to undock and fly home at any time if a major issue arises. But the issues and tests run by NASA and Boeing call into question whether, whether the Starliner will be able to make its six-hour journey back home. Boeing has spent about $1.5 billion in cost overruns beyond the initial $4.5 billion contract it secured with NASA, which is hoping to make Starliner its second mode of transportation to the ISS along SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Starliner's repeated leaking issues may threaten that future and further damage Boeing's already troubled reputation in the aerosphere industry. The company has been plagued by safety concerns since the start of the year when a door panel blew off an Alaskan Air Flight's Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet after it appeared to be missing four key bolts. Jennifer Homedy, chair of the National Transportation Safety Board, later flagged ongoing issues with Boeing's production line with several whistleblowers coming out to say they felt pressure to stay quiet when they spotted defects on the line. Boeing did not immediately respond to requests for comment. So as I was saying earlier, folks, some people at NASA, some of these space exploration experts, they're saying, oh, it's okay. These astronauts could make the journey home, theoretically, if they had to. But we know for a fact that there have been multiple whistleblowers that have come forward about Boeing that mysteriously died off themselves or weird things happen. So we know that there's pressure behind the scenes to silence people. We know there's a lot of money floating around. There's an incentive. There's an incentive there for people not to tell the truth. So folks at NASA, folks at Boeing, they're trying to cover up how dangerous this situation is. They'd rather throw these astronauts in the ship and wing it, and fingers crossed it doesn't blow up or get lost in outer space, right? Fingers crossed it doesn't just implode or, or whatever would happen. I'm no space expert myself. But that's basically what they're doing here. They're blasting people into outer space in shitty, low-cost material spacecraft, Oftentimes, from what we've heard about Boeing, Boeing's been using like generic metals on their airplanes. Their airplanes are falling apart mid-flight. Now, this is a spacecraft that has to go in and out of the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
You can't have little issues. And that's what I was saying earlier. What, is, what was the big rush? Usually, when it comes to space launches, if there's even a small thing gone wrong, they cancel it. They've canceled this launch before, but now they were in such a rush, even though the spacecraft is leaking and you know it, you just take your chances. All in a time where it's just been reported that you're experimenting on a superbug in outer space, all around the same time, just a few days, you know, as the after these two astronauts arrived at the space station, a couple of days later, we got these leaked recordings of an emergency happening on the International Space Station, yet NASA and the space community are trying to claim that, oh, sorry guys, this was a test. We didn't mean for this audio to leak. No, I think maybe there was an emergency up there. Maybe that emergency is still ongoing. And despite what NASA or Boeing says, this spacecraft is not safe to take back home, and they have no idea how they're going to get these two astronauts home. So yes, they're stuck there until Elon Musk comes and saves them, if that's even possible, which I'm sure it is. But I, I mean, this is an all around messed up situation that they're trying to cover up. And think about this, folks. These people obviously aren't competent enough to send a spacecraft in outer space that's not leaking. So how can we trust them working on these superbugs in outer space that are supposedly immune to all of the antibiotics and stuff, stuff that would really mess people up down here on Earth? Think about it. Like, you got leaks in your spaceship and you're flying around in outer space, but we're supposed to trust you with the superbug. And we're supposed to trust that you're not infected with it when you come back down to Earth in your leaky spacecraft, if you're lucky enough to survive the trip home. So it's like, I'll put it like this. Either way you look at it, it's a whole messed up situation. Even if you take the super bug out of the equation, still a messed up situation. Take the audio leaks out of the equation, still a messed up situation. At the end of the day, we now have NASA admitting that they're blasting people into outer space in spaceships with leaks in them. And this is just further proof as well, like I talk about all the time on this channel, that America is falling apart. Our airplanes are falling apart. They're made by Boeing. Our spaceships are falling apart. They're made by Boeing. Our trains are derailing. Our city buses are crashing into buildings. Our factories are exploding. What the hell is next? What is next? I mean, our problems have literally gone from Earth to outer space now. So it's like, I don't know where we go from here. I, I, it feels like it can't get worse. But I don't want to say it can't get worse because we will be proven wrong if we say that. Because things can get worse in so many ways that we probably can't even imagine right now. But for right now, I'm hoping that these astronauts make it back home safe. Hopefully not infected with the superbug. Hopefully they don't blow up on that Boeing spacecraft. But you just let me know your thoughts about this because this is just getting too crazy. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.